All right, and then we'll start off with the first one. I would almost say they copy paste the, the girls from this game. Wait, let me remove this little speck of cardboard. Looks like the same girls from Bing Bing Bingo. This time there's a gangster in between them though. So, uh, yeah, you tell me what it says. Pachinko, Bing Bing Bing, Bada Bing Boom Boom, I don't know. Very clean though. Even a cartridge, this hasn't been played much. Or it's been taken care of. Maybe by the mobster. He looks like a mobster, maybe he's not, but... That's my definition of gangster, man. Big cigar, Fadero hat. Surrounded by girls in bunny outfits. Or just Hugh Hefner, but... We got this game, this is... A slot machine game. So, yeah, I know pachinko and slot machines are quite... Uh, in, quite in, how do you call it, quite in hype there. There's a lot of arcades you can play those in. Never played Pachinko myself. I played slots, of course. But, uh, yeah. Looks like a slot real, a real slot game. Slot real, real slot, what is it? Next up, we have a cool game, man. i played this before. It's Gradius. I didn't play the third game, though, but... I'm not a huge, uh, I mean, I'm a huge fan of, gra of these kind of games, Gradius games, but I'm not good at them. I'm mediocre at best when it comes to these kind of games. 1990, man, that's an old game. Very grimy as some text. Need to clean that properly. Cartridge looks good, though. Cartridge will definitely play. Happy with that one. Definitely might keep that one. Even if it doesn't come with a box. Gradius. And then we have... Another Star Fox from the Super Nintendo era, 1993. Bit of decoloration on the back. Comes with the extended slot, uh, the extended chip, if you will. Star Fox. No writing this time, just a bit of decoloration. So, uh, yeah, definitely love Star Fox. Somewhat similar to Gradius, I guess. This does play different. Gradius is usually 2D and Star Fox is 3D. And we got another game which I cannot decipher, unfortunately. It's not a super interesting back uh, title sticker, though. It's very clean. Even the card is just clean. This might be another one of those. Gambling games, pachinko or whatever. I'll sell these games. Unless it turns out to be a very cool game. And then we actually have... We had a boxed version of this. We got SimCity here. Just a cartridge this time. Bit of decoloration. The ones in box were definitely in good condition. Look at the color difference, man. It must be being facing like this. Or something, I don't know, because the front is pretty clean, the back is very yellowish. That's a thing with uh, Super Nintendo in general, I don't think Nintendo had that problem that much. I mean, at least my Nintendo didn't have that decoloration, but the Super Nintendo, they turned yellow. Alright, we got Super Birdie Rush. Got a quick glimpse of it at first, and I thought this guy was uh, Lucas. From Earthbound, but uh, yeah, now that I look better, it's just a guy playing golf. Super Birdie Rush, clean game, clean cartridge. Overall, pretty good game. Never heard of it, Super Birdie Rush, but if it's like play with friends, golf, golf with friends. I think that's what it's called. If it's something like that, I will play it. I love those games. Next up, we have Super Mario Kart again. This one is a better well. Excuse me, I'll just take that back. I was going to say this one is in a better condition, but I think it's on par with the other one, because the other one was very dirty as well. Super Mario Kart for SNES. Like I said, this package only contained 8. The other 3 contained 12, I think, judging from the size. So, uh, yeah, let's sort them. We got Super Mario Kart, that one is going on the down stack. Super Birdie Rush, that's... I don't know. Maybe, maybe, but I don't have a maybe pass, so it's going up. We got the gangster with the bunny girls going up. 
We've got slot reels going up. What else? We have Gradius. Gradius is going down, man. No problem. We've got some City. Some City is a fun game, but I don't think it's very playable on Super Nintendo. We got that red with golden logo thingy, which I don't know what it is. There we go. And then, of course, we forgot about Star Fox. Star Fox goes down. That's a no brainer, man. I like how the good games have like multiples of them. There's two or three of them. And the bad games are. I'm, they might not be bad. I mean, I'm not gonna destroy the games. Like, you know, it's not like super bad. I haven't played them, but they don't look. Appealing to me, that's the right word. Samurai Spirit is up there though. But he should be down. But it's because it's in box, I just put it there. So don't mind the boxed games, because Final Fantasy VI is up there as well. Next up, package number six for Super Nintendo games. Straight off the bat, you can tell what that is. You should be able to tell what that is. In case you don't know what it is, that's Donkey Kong Country 2. Some interesting games in this one. Let me take them out. I reckon there's 12 again. So we get two. A lot of these games I've never ever seen, man. That's the thing with Japanese games. The Japanese game market is so much more vast than the European and American one. At least back then. Nowadays we have American publishers also. No, well, we also have a Dutch one. The one that created Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon, uh, the other one, I forgot the name. Uh, and uh, don't forget about Killzone. It's made by Guerrilla, that's a Dutch company. So we even make some games as well. Not a lot though, we have a lot of indie games. Right, seems there's 12 of them. So let's start off with the first one. We got Donkey Kong Country 2 with Dixie and Diddy Kong again. Very clean. Cartridge could look in a better condition. Casing is very clean. This will have no problem playing. Don't go country too. Awesome. Put them here now, but I know that one's going down. Next up we have... I had to check what that was, but it's Power League 3. Super Power League 3. And it's actually a golden dude holding a baseball. So it's a baseball game. Power League 3. Bit of decoloration here. The back is clean. No writing. You can see the decoloration there. It doesn't go all the way through, funny enough. You can see it stops halfway. Might have been here sitting in something. Because it's a pretty straight line as well. Cartridge has seen better days, man. That one's rusty. Power League 3. And then we got. Couldn't read it, but I know what those stones are. That's my own. My own. I don't know how to pronounce it actually. I always say my own. Decoloration on the back. But uh, yeah, all in all, this will play. Super my own. Might play that in the future on the PS5 actually. There's a PS5 version of it. It's my own. I don't know what it's called. My own. I know it's called my own, that's it. Now we got Fever something. And uh, it's a slot machine game again. Triple seven jackpot man. Pretty good condition. Can't tell you much about these games. I mean I like slots sometimes, but I would never play him on the Super Nintendo man. I mean if you don't want to waste money, I guess it's a good it's a good alternative. And we have oh <laughs> For a quick glance, uh, look at it. If I do it like this without focusing, I thought that was Bob Ross, man. But it's not an afro if you look closely. Like compact hair, but he thought he had an afro, so I thought Bob Ross there for a second. Bit of grime here. It's the International Tennis Tour. I have no idea who that's supposed to be. Maybe that's not even a real life person, but I remember these kind of games. Like if you go to, when I went on holiday, they had these huge arcade halls with the Tennis games. This is the kind of game you'd find there. You can play tennis on the arcade. I love arcade machines, man. Definitely something I'd like to have in the future if I have a bigger house. Some arcade machines. Original ones. Probably won't come from Japan because shipping a that thing will cost a fortune, probably. 
So yeah, international tennis tour. And then, um, interesting thing, I thought it, it almost looks like the Banjo-Kazooie, uh, wait, yeah. But it says Sankyo Fever 777, so that's not a slot game. Cartridge is clean. Bit of, bit of rust, but yeah, I'd like Banjo, you know, if you read it quickly. Wait, let me try that. There, that color. Doesn't that mean, doesn't that look like Banjo Kazooie? Obviously, Banjo Kazooie is an N64, but. Alright, I'm digging this one. Not the game itself, though, but the art style. We got Super Something Something. I reckon it's baseball because this guy is baseball, but like the anime style. Looks really cool. Baseball game. There's a lot of gambling and base and uh, sport games in here. Very clean. Almost looks like it's been cleaned already because look at how white that cartridge is. The chip. Baseball. Super something. Another baseball game. So, so far, beside Donkey Kong Country 2, we've had sport games. And then next up, this guy loves this baseball, man. He has every baseball game on the Super Nintendo. He got Super Stadium, 1991, another baseball game. I like watching baseball sometimes. It's usually on the background, though, because baseball games get, can take forever. And I just watch some highlights here. You know, whenever I hear the, uh, the commentator making a nice remark, I just turn to the screen for a sec. So, Super Stadium, baseball game. That's all I can show you guys. It's just a cart rate, sorry. And then, what do we got here? We have seen this one before. King special thing. It's a dude, it's the marble with a sword and a crown. A little bit of dirt there, just under the sticker. In general, looking pretty good. Very clean cartridge. Again, I don't know, I haven't seen this one. It does look like a Disney castle, man. I mean, if you get the Enchanted Kingdom games on the NES and you put it next to it, it's the exact same image. And we have Power League 3 with the golden baseball dude on it, but we also have. Power League 2. Super Power League 2, excuse me. Uh, cartridge looks clean. No decoloration. What about the chip? Chip looks fine. Probably a game that hasn't been played a lot as well. Super Power League 2 for the Super Nintendo. Like I said, I'm gonna need an entire bottle of, of uh, cleaning alcohol just to clean these games, man. Take me half a day. I don't know what this is. Uh, that's Noba, no, uh, Oda, Oda Nobunaga, Nobunaga, Oda Nobunaga, that's it, sorry. He looks like it at least, I reckon that's him. So, I have no idea what this is, Kui, Kui Tecmo. Maybe this is one of the Warriors Orochi games? Very clean, this will play, I'm gonna check, try it, uh, check it out. Huge fan of uh, games like Dynasty Warriors, etc. from Kui. So, this one might be, uh, I know there's a Japanese version, yeah, I think it's called Warriors Orochi. Definitely want to try it out. And then, last on the bucket list of that, well not bucket list, not last of the 12 of the package. It's Prime Goal. We had Prime Goal before. Not this one though, this one's a different one. Here you can see it's soccer, there's a few soccer players there standing on the earth in the shape of a ball with the patches. Very clean, courage is very clean, chip is clean. This will play no problem. There we go. So, truth be told, this is probably the least interesting of the, tw of the, the 12 pack I opened so far. We've got Donkey Kong Country too. And the uh, Oda Nobunaga, but that's about it. I think the rest will go up because they're not my kind of game. Sport games, man. Sport games. I don't do. Do I look like I play sports? You see my videos. I gained a lot of weight recently, but I've actually the last two weeks I've been on a more healthier way of life. I'm doing physical jobs, so that's good for losing some weight, and I'm also eating a lot less, and I'm drinking just water, water only. Uh, I had a double one of this, there we go. Sport game, Banjo-Kazooie look-alike game. 
power power league. Yeah. What's this? Baseball game. That one looks interesting because it has the uh, the art style. The Oda. Oda goes down. Nobunaga. Super Stadium. What's this? Mario. And then we got what is this? Fever. That's a pachinko game. Man. And we got Prime Goal. I wonder. Let me double check. Where's the other Prime Goal? What was it? Yeah, Prime Goal three. So I was right. It's a soccer game. Plug in the camera real quickly because I'm running low on battery. There we go. Then let's get the next package out. This one looks interesting. It's not all of the games though, but I have no idea what this one is. That one. Well, that one looks interesting, so let's open it up. You can already see Prime Gold 3 here again. I didn't hurt myself there, I just checked if I didn't cut through my uh, glove. Alright, picking it up. Guess what? 12 more games coming up, guys. And then after this, it's just one more pack. Looks like there'll be a lot more sport games again. But we've got some cool looking games here. It's about 50-50 I think. I reckon it's a little less than 50. In the advantage of games. here again but start it off here we go start with this one got some sort of fishing game it's a bass clean cartridge clean game bit of grinding on it unfortunately but yeah looks like a fishing game to me EA sports electronic arts EA is already a pretty old uh, publisher this one I don't know this I reckon this is 193 or something Next up, we have, didn't mention it, we saw it through the uh, bubble wrap, Prime Goal 3 again. Cartridge is a bit rusty, some writing on the case, a little bit of decoloration, not too bad. This will probably still play without working on it. Prime Goal 3, we've already seen this one, so putting it next to the bass fishing thing. Alright, so the one that was interesting, I thought it for a second it was Zelda. Because of the colors, but it's actually Tetris. Probably Super Tetris or just normal Tetris. Cartridge is, the chip is clean. Casing has a bit of grime and decoloration, but uh, yeah. Tetris, man, I mean, I'm almost certain everyone knows Tetris. At least if you're a gamer, you know what Tetris is. But even if you're not a gamer, I think a lot of people still know what Tetris is. And we got another double here. The one that was questionable, whether it's Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. I reckon it's Dragon Ball Z. This is who's published by Bandai. I reckon these guys know what they're doing. Chip could be in better condition, but the casing itself is pretty clean. But yeah, Dragon Ball Z. There, I, know there's a, I know there's a million Dragon Ball Z games out there, or just Dragon Ball in general. We got another anime looking baseball game. I'm assuming it's baseball judging from the uniforms. Something something number three. Super baseball number three. That's what I'm gonna call it. So uh, yeah, a bit of grime here. Like that, that's better. A bit of grime. Nothing too serious. Cartridge is clean. The chip. That will play. No problem. Oh man, awesome game. Awesome. I thought I saw it. Pilot Wings, the original one for the SNES. Chip is very clean. 
back is very dirty. Need to clean that. Pilot Wings, man, I love that game. I have that on the Nintendo 3DS. This was one of the first games that got launched with the 3DS. Pilot Wings. Not sure if it was a reboot of that this. I never played the original one, so. But yeah, Pilot Wings, cool. And here we got another golf game. Monsters. That's the United States. New 3D Golf Simulation. TNE Soft. 1989, man, that's old. Got some guys on the green here playing golf. One is angry or cheering, I don't know. This guy, I don't know what he's doing though. Are they making shadow figures on the grass? They're doing a lot, but they're not golfing. So, uh, yeah, pretty clean. Reckon this game hasn't been played much. Next up, we have another Mahjong game. How do I know? Well, I see the tiles. Can't read the can't read the text, but this probably says Mahjong. They have a lot of these games, man. These games never air, uh, got released in Europe. Truth be told, I'm not too sad about these kind of games not being released. There's a lot of good games out there, but. This one, yeah, this didn't... If I, if I found this in Europe, I wouldn't even buy it, man. Alright, I just saw something interesting. I didn't even know it was inside here, but... Not this one, though. This is TT Soccer, or Soccer 2, I guess. And it says Human again, so is it Human... Super Formation Soccer 2. Human. Human might be the... Uh, human is the publisher, so maybe that's why it's at Human Baseball. And Human... Uh, Human Karting or Grand Prix, because it's from Human. I didn't know that was a publisher. Learning moment here. So, uh, let me pull on my gloves a little bit better. I'm wearing gloves because my hands cannot always be clean because I'm a mechanic, so my nails sometimes are a bit dirty. So, from now on, I'm just going to use gloves. Got black, uh, black latex gloves until I find maybe black leather gloves or maybe the white ones. Chip is decent condition, and yeah, not much of decoloration. It's a pretty, pretty good looking game. Condition wise, that is. This one looks interesting, man. I mean, it says target formula G something, but that's not a that's not a normal formula car, man. You got an anime looking dude here. Takara Co. 1990, 1992. I just had to check, it says there. Bit of dirt on the front. A lot of decoloration on the back. Cartridge is pretty clean. This might have been played quite a bit. Looks interesting though. Not a huge fan of race games beside Mario Kart, but this one does look interesting. And now the two games that caught my eye. Dragon Quest 6. Surprisingly, after all these Super Nintendo games, this is the first Dragon Quest game we come across. Dragon Quest 6. I love the art style, very similar to Dragon Ball Z. I think it's the same, uh, same artist, even. So, Dragon Quest 6. I started playing... This is from Enix, by the way. This is not from Square or Squaresoft. This is Enix, before the merge, man. Nowadays, it's just called Square Enix. They merge together, but... Bit of decoloration, very little. The chip is a focus. Bit rusty, but the sides look clean, so this should play. Dragon Quest VI, awesome. And then the game that actually caught my attention, because I mentioned Tetris. Looked like Zelda. And if I grab this, you'll know what I mean. See the color? So here we have, I read, well, this could actually only be one, I guess, unless it's a reboot or something. This should be The Legend of Zelda, um, I think to the past, Link to the past, yeah, forgot the name, but that should be it. The chip, decent, T. Sugimoto, okay, that's the name of the dude, probably, bit of decoloration, but 
happy with this game. I got a complete inbox European NTSC U and NTSC J. So I got this three times complete inbox. I don't really need this, but might sell it. The Legend of Zelda Super Nintendo Japanese. Awesome. So yeah, like I said, I said it was 50-50 at start. But uh, yeah, it's not 50-50, but there's some cool games in here, so let's check. Got this baseball game, again. Not digging baseball. We got the soccer game. Let me just make some space on the table quickly. I'm running out of space here. There we go, because I got a lot of Super Nintendo games. We got the ba the bass fishing game, 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 no game. We got Prime Gold Three. I know I put it somewhere. Still looking for it. There we go. It's a double one. We got this Formula One thing, and it looks interesting. So I'm actually putting it down. We got Pilot Wings. That's a no-brainer. We got this, another golf game. We got Tetris. Tetris, hmm. Tetris should go down, man, but I'm running out of space. So I'm gonna put it here. Got Dragon Quest. Got Mayo. Not too interested with Mayo. Dragon Ball Z. This is one we already have. So I should stack it on top of the other Dragon Ball Z. So I can find it again. There we go. And then the Zelda game. So. I reckon the loot is about 50-50. Games that... Sport games and gambling games. Might bundle them all together and sell them as one package, because I'm not sure if people are interested in those. The ones on the south side, I don't have any problem selling those if I want to. I'll play them first. I'm not gonna sell them straight away. I used, to com I used to collect every game, whether it was just a loose cartridge or not, but nowadays I'm just going for the complete in-box ones. So in order to buy those, I sell the other games, because the complete in-box ones can be very pricey. Japanese market, so-so. European and American market, overpriced, man. Well, technically not overpriced, because they're worth it, but it's not cheap. And then the last one... <coughs> last of the 12. So after this we're no longer have Super Nintendo games, but the, the table is completely governed in Super Nintendo games right now. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's open the last one. There's some interesting games in here, I can tell. The first two I picked are good. The third one I picked, also good. I'll get the rest out. Two less games, two that are not that interesting. Another are two very cool games. Yeah, this one is in the favor of the cool games, man. Questionable. Questionable. Alright. Got some interesting games here. So uh, let's start with the first one. Never seen this one. It's like a frog, but it's not a normal frog. It's like a robot frog. Namco. Can't read it. There's some writing on it, a little bit of decoloration. Cartridge is good though. It's even green, yellow, whitish, and that's good. That's what you want. More writing there. So we got a, what's this, Frogger? I don't know. Could be Frogger. Could be totally wrong though. We have another game we've seen before Parlor, which I thought was a pachinko game. Could be. Chip is a little bit rusty. Nothing too serious. No writing, no decoloration. This will play, no problem. Parlor from the Super Nintendo. 
Right. right, this one looks interesting, but it could just be another uh, Mahjong game. It's a dragon on it. It says Shanghai. Shanghai 3. Some sort of Dragon Ball Z dragon on it. Chinese dragon. Chip, pretty good condition. In the case, it's also in really good condition. It's been stored very well, or it's not very played well. Or not very played often. Not played very often. And sometimes my English is a bit lackish. It's another game that looks interesting. I remember an anime like this, watching one. From T animation, from TV animation, yeah, that's why. Slam Dunk 2, 1995. Chip, a little bit decolored from rust. Sides look okay though. Bit of coloring here, a bit of uh, drawing here. Sorry, not coloring. Uh, I mean the sides of the chip look okay, not the sides of the cartridge, because that's decolored. Slam Dunk, interesting. Next up, we have a game that has seen better days, but it's a cool game. It's Donkey Kong Country, Super Donkey Kong. The uh, stickers letting loose, and it's very dirty in general. Seen better days. How about the, car the chip? The chip is actually the best part of it, which is also the most important one, because... Focus. Chip looks good. Playable, definitely. Running out of space on the table, man. Interesting game again. I couldn't tell who those guys are. This... I would almost say this was Romance of the Three Kingdoms number four. There's three dudes. Wei, Wu and Shu. But I'm not sure. Could be totally wrong though. It is Kui. Yeah, Kui and yeah, Tecmo. Now you have Kui Tecmo. Chip looks okay. Sides are good. Cartridge itself is clean. No writing on it. Interesting. This is an interesting game. Along with Donkey Kong. Then we have this one. Another golf game. This guy sure loved this golf game. Masters. It's very similar to the other one where the people were doing the shadow play on the grass. Or I think that's what they were doing because I didn't see a ball, I didn't see a club. I just saw them waving or shouting. So yeah, very clean game. Masters. Probably not played a lot here. Don't kick the camera. I know that a Zelda game is right there, but because I'm running out of space, the table's already full. And interesting game here. I mean, I'm almost certain I know what this is, even though it doesn't state anything. I think that's Gumon, isn't it? De massive decoloration on the back though. Double writing here and here. Triple writing even, even there. Bit of decoloration, but chip is fine, that will play. So yeah, I think that's Gumon. Interesting, I like that. I, I played Gumon before. I think that was it. It's a long time ago since I played it, so I cannot remember it very well, but I think that looked like him. Super something too. And it's Shoki. I don't know how to play it, but I'd love to learn it. It's a chess game. It's not your average chess, Japanese chess. And we got a pretty decent cartridge, chip, I mean. The casing is fine. It's a really good condition. Not sure if this is interesting. I'd love to learn to play it, but I don't think this playing it on a Super Nintendo is the right way to learn it. Now for some three really cool games. We got a classic Super Mario World with Yoshi and Mario. And Luigi and Bowser and a lot of people in the background. Chip is fine. The back is very decolored with more writing. People, stop writing on the damn cases. I mean, normally when I buy them, they were in pristine condition. 
even though they said they were dirty, etc. Here they actually said to me, yeah, these are not in best condition. Some of them are very dirty. They will play, but they're dirty. So, Super Mario World. Next up, another Enix game. 1996. Got Dragon Quest 3 here. Love the art style. Hero. Some writing on the top, unfortunately. And in the back, some massive writing. But the case itself is very clean, so if you can remove the writing, I have a very nice game. How about the card right? Yeah, that will work. Bit of rust on the top part, on the lower part, here. But the, the chip itself is clean on the sides, and that's the most important part. And then last but not least, we already know it's a good game because it's the third one in the bundle. Super Mario Kart. This one is the cleanest so far. On the front, fortunately I already saw when I turned it around. The colored with naming on it. The chip is clean, very clean, that will play. A bit of grime here on the inside. Can't remove it with my finger, so... Anyway, interesting, Super Mario Kart. So that's the last of the 12, and, I'm, and I must say, it's a good thing because my table is running out. So I'm going to put these aside, and then we'll start with the interesting games. Actually, there's one more Super Nintendo game, but I did buy, I did buy it in a separate lot. I did pay quite a bit more for it, but uh, yeah, it's a gem. It's a gem, man. So let's get this sorted. We got Donkey Kong. I mean, look at the difference, man. Told you one was in a bad condition. They're both original, but uh, one's been decolored. We got this. My own game. We got this Frogger. This looks like an interesting game. Let's put it down. We got this one. Let's put it down. Super Mario World. Let's put it down. Masters. Let's put it up. Slam Dunk. Let's put it up. Super Mario Kart. Let's put it down. We have three of those already now. Burler, Parlor, we have seen that one. There we go. Get some sort of dragon. Let's put it down. Go Goomon and Dragon Quest 3. So after the massive bulk of Super Nintendo games, let me zoom out. That, sir, is a lot of games. You can see here, big packs. Two, two, three. There's a few doubles there as well, but I say it's about equal. If you. If you check the amount of games, I'd say they're about the same. Maybe even in favor of the good games. Especially Dragon Ball S3, Super Mario S3, Donkey Kong S2. Final Fantasy 4 and 6 of 2. There's offside, there's the super deformed Gundam thingy, the robot boars. Got a chrono trigger here. Got Legend of Zelda right there. Yeah, awesome man, I'm happy with this. So, uh, before I do this, because I already showed you this part, so before I get the rest, let me put all of this back in the box. So I'm gonna turn on the camera here for a sec, and I'll see you guys in a bit. 